Here's how you create a Mylar mockup from a single image like this. So let's go here to the left, select the object selection, and let's go ahead and select this. And let's go ahead and make a copy. I'm going to do Control J. I'm going to group it, do Control G. Just name that bag. Now let's create a new layer. This is where we're going to put our artwork. So I'm going to go here to the rectangular marquee tool. And let's go ahead and select outside of the bag, kind of like that. Now you just fill it in with any solid color. I'm just going to use like a, a red. Shortcut is Alt Backspace. Let's do Control D to deselect. Right click, convert to a smart object. And let's change the bin mode to multiply so we can see it. So I'm going to do Control T. And all you have to do is right click, click on warp. And just bring the corner to that corner, that one to there, and that one kind of like that. Same thing here. And we just move that, hit enter, change it back to normal. Let's go ahead and do Control Alt G for the clipping mask. So it only apply on top of the um, Marlar bag. Now let's create two copies. So I'm going to do Control J, one, two, hold shift, bring this above the artwork, do Control Alt G, and let's go ahead and name this one highlights and change the blending mode to screen. Right now it's too bright, so all you have to do is do Control L to bring up the levels, and let's darken the midtone kind of like that. Click OK. Maybe bring the opacity down, let's do 70. And then this one's gonna be the shadows. Change that to multiply. And this one, same thing, control L. But this time, let's bring the midtone to the left, kind of like that. Click OK. So that's our highlights, and that's our shadow. And then make sure this one is the clipping mask to that. So you don't want to do it to the other one. Now, all you have to do is double click the artwork. So here's the artwork that I want to use. So I'm just do control A, control C to copy. Go back to the smart object here, control V to paste, control T, and let's go ahead and hold shift, bring the size of it down, kind of like that. Hit enter, and all you have to do is save it, close this out, and you can see that's the artwork updated. So you could change the highlights if it's too bright. You just do control L, 